The 2024 Call of Duty League has some insane moments so far, from nail-biting hardpoint endings, crazy search-and-destroy clutches, and ridiculous streaks. Today, we'll be going over 50 of the greatest moments of the Modern Warfare 3 season. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Oh, look at this. Clay's getting aggressive over towards B Street. He's just walked through. Real was watching his cross, and Clay's got a rival in hand. Hello? Oh, my. Okay. Clay looking 18 again? You see some old man. <laughs> he's in a great spot though. I mean, he can watch this entire archway. He can watch the cross. He's in a good spot to make sure anyone does try to get him towards broken. They get met with an SMG. This is a solid defensive setup around B. Great setup at B, but Vegas leading so far. Their plan of attack has usually been over towards this A site. Just taking control of mid red and towards cafe and slowly starting to work up. It's going to be this time around, going in that same position to try to make a play happen. Yeah, this is tough. You would have loved if you're Carolina to try to force this Vegas offense to go towards Clay's position. That's your X factor here. Oh, Wait, oh almost gets the double down. At least a trade comes through. Real AR in hand, able to find another. Nero opens up space through mid. Bomb is currently down. 18 seconds on the clock. Carolina still trying to stay alive for what would be a reverse sweep. Round 11 winner. Real tagged up, still alive. Bomb collected. Purge for the plant. Clay with the rival nine. Can he catch timing? Oh no. Going quickly. Doesn't see the initial. Tries to hop this. Riel has to play bodyguard. Stay down, Mr. President. Purge just tries to bait oh. off the door. And Clay says, not so fast, young man. Ravens get us to round 11. Man, that's a vet play if I ever seen it. I was thinking about the bad timing. I thought he with the SMG in hand, he's gonna work his way in through cafe, but a vet knows what he needs to do in this situation. That side closet door is closed. I'm instantly hopping this bomb. And unfortunately for the rookie, once he peeks that doorway, he does not spot. No one comes out worse for wear. Everything resets, but Standy's position has been throttled back in Carolina now looking to make a move, but Standy shuts down. Good first blood. That's also your bomb carrier. It's a big first blood out of Standy. He also gets some more information just finessing with the movement around this middle tank. With only 40 seconds left, Carolina have to try to pick up this bomb. Yeah. I don't know if Vegas Legion have the information that the bomb is going to be down towards bottom mid, but you see Clay just slowly edging his way up, trying to find an angle. It sets up Gwyn on the flank to find two. They have the man advantage, 3v2 now. Nero looking to go quickly, tries to slide through the Oh my. Gwyn meets him for the third. Just down to attach for the 1v2. Bomb being planted. Got her X able to stay alive, get out of dodge. Attached defaulting back to the pistol. Has plenty of time to let this reset. Catches a little bit of intel on the God RX. Should know that Gwyn was last seen over through mid. And now the reset. God RX caught. Gwyn pokes over the top. Good damage, but Gwyn shuts it down. And a reverse sweep for Carolina. A monster in respawns. Maybe trying to find the first blood. There goes that cross to B. Smoke going down. That's gonna let Sully know. All right, it's a B hit. Plank going down now. Still four versus four. No one threw the first blood. Bobby the smoke is. just tries to fly right on through. He does it. Slides through one. They're looking for three now is Sim. Got a chance to make the play. Chance potentially for the ace. There's three. Bye oh! bye. Sim with the ace in the one v two clutch to shut it down in round one. Ugh. My man did it all. He threw a smoke down and he ran through that. He's just running, running and gunning. Simp with the unreal ace here at Map 5 round one. I, I thought I thought he was going to finesse that last fight. He just mantled up the tank. Well, you saw Priest is thinking the same thing. Yeah. Priest is like, there's no way this guy reach houses. He's going to finesse. Uh, that's Wait, so why no Priest damage. starts running. He, he's like, all right, I'm going to slide behind the tank. Let's do a little a dance-off, a little battle. But Sim just pops up. It's a booza. It could be a big one depending on who the help comes from. It's going to be a booza. Now right back over to Illy. He takes his fight as well, trying to keep this 100% at 100. And looking good so far. 2v1 now. Dashy last up. Full health, though. Chance to make a play. Next guy drops. Dashy, 1v1. Versus Illy, former teammate. Woo! Ah! Just gun to sleep. Oh my goodness, Dashy with the beams, with the reads, he does it all, the clutch. And what a shot. I mean, the read onto Abuza, he knows he's working the flank, and Illy goes for the child, not the bomb defuse. 
You know the, the last one three. Uh, go for it. The last one v three. I was saying like you know he searches right phenom has. It's like when it when he stays fast, like, you just feel like you can't make a wrong decision. Everything you do is working like. And it's going to continue, because this might be another first blood for ah, yeah. I mean, we still got to trade. Yeah, you, you just got trade. caught mantling. You die in a split second. It happens. Fred, though, should get another. That's heads being removed. Abuza last up, able to take the fight. Now it would be a 1v3. Two left, though, to complete that 1v3. Abuza, new to the league. It's Dashy and Big Ken. Yeah, 30 second rounds. It's going off this way. They have just won all of the trades, all of the skirmishes. Looking for six rounds in a row. Not planning the bomb yet. I mean, this is, is a timing thing. I mean, we got Daddy in play, 1v2. They have to plant bomb. Like, what timing does he find? Can he make it a one versus one? Does he get there when they're on? One's in the plant. Does he give himself a 1v1? He might. The best he might. Or the Not going to happen. They get the plant down safely. I like the trigger discipline here for, oh, my sweet Jebediah. He's going to yell for it. Oh. Try to catch the timing. Oh. Tries to ah, catch it. It's done. He sticks it. The rookie. Balls of steel. I think my favorite part about that is the camera, the third person camera, you just see both Kenny and Dashi mantle up. But here's a, we're going to check out a replay real quick. And I mean, yeah, you just don't get a check. They think they're going to take the fight. But yeah, look, both of them just kind of pop up there. But there we go, Abuza keeps them alive. Tang Bobby, he might have himself a chance to fight forward here. They do first. Trying to get involved now. Here's the pinch. Is Diamond Coin going to hold it? Oh my god, he does. He holds that angle on the inside and he leaves the player on the point alone. The 1v1 over there is going to be big, but Joe Deceives getting into the spawn, causing as much damage as he can. Diamond Con loses the fight on the other side. It's a one life difference. It's 12 seconds on the game clock. You cannot die, Afro. No! The fight from Ghosty now forward. Lives down to three for either side. This is going to be it. Last ditch attempt. Flying on the point. Joe Deceives gets his. But three seconds to go. You've got to get on the zone, lad. Fresh mag. Send it. Wins it! Oh my god! It's a 2v1! Diamond Con! Can you do it? The boys are on the capture. It's now a 1v1. What a round of control. Diamond Con, if you win this! God damn, what a round! MVP right there for this series. I mean, not the entire year, but Diamond Con has been looking like an absolute monster on the map. I mean, those are big plays back and forth, too. Joe deceives the timing he has to slide out just to get to the barrel. Impressive. The Diamond Con just a little bit better. Pre-aim on point. Get a heal up just a little bit. Isolate the first player. Man advantage once again goes to Boston Breach. Snoopy living up to the monster pre-game statistic here. And this is a nice aggressive play. Capsule spree may come to a close or he may find another. Oh, my God. He's out like a light. And now he is a ghost. A side invasion. The snap. Not enough. Joe Deceives finally puts him down. Snoopy, though, the reinforcements arrive. Oh, and he's got himself a rival to play with as well. All down to Ghosty. I just get a kill. Yeah, thank you. Get off the donut cam. At least get something going. A 1v3 would be a, not a momentum shift, but a big round for LAT to attempt to get back in this game. But 15 seconds left on the clock, and Ghosty just going to jump into both players. There's the freebie, though. It's now Priesta, a little bit nervy. And he's going to give up the bomb plan as well. We have an actual 1v1. Actual 1v1, he's moving fast. There's a tag damage dealt, but Ghosty's going to be there. It's an immediate hop onto the bomb. Is he going to defuse? No. The check. Gonzom. Unbelievable. LA Thieves get on the board. Damn Daniel. And poor Priesta as well. I mean, the end of the, uh, the hard point couldn't get that final kill and... And here for the, the 1v3 clutch, just gets gunned as well. I mean, back turned and down to literal wow. 1 HP. Who's this set up? You have Illy at P2. So they're going to need another break to try to win this game. Since the opening moments, it has been Surge in front. Now tied up 2-11, 2-11. No actual lead chase technically, and Surge will get the next tick, but Optic have battled back in this game. Now the P5, the ticket push coming in from Kenny and Shotzi. They're trying to wrap around behind. They're able to do just that. Kenny with the tags, Kenny with two, Kenny with the opener, and now Trophy onto the point in early break from Big Ken as he goes huge and sets up Shotzi. Dashy there with the follow-up and Optic.
with a chance to win it on this point. Six in a row for Dashi. Cruise missile in hand, but what a play by Kenny. 29th kill, but just sneaks on through the crates. Leads to the break. There was nobody P2 or uh, maybe he just caught a timing. Watching that cross to the crates somehow is able to get through. They had no idea that he was there. Finds the two piece. So now Surge, they need a break here. Opta can win it. You still have the cruise as well on Dashi if he wants to use it, but just gonna opt up for the gun because he's on eight in a row. Wait, you get the wait, tick. Wait. I I'm pretty sure you have it if you are Optic. Yeah, I think they're good. I think they're good. They should go through. Optic Rally, they got the final tick. They get the dump. I thought we were going further. I thought they had enough there for Surge to break in. But if you're Optic, you're down, what, 50 to 100 points throughout nearly. Seven to five. Kleenex will find another one on the Snoopy as well. Six to five now. Toronto Ultra must stay alive, and they're doing a well good job at that. Capsidal will find the kill onto inside now. Four versus five. Ultra, no lives remaining. Kleenex with a huge gunfight, but Capsidal will find one. 4v3, 15 seconds. Boston now making their way over. They're the ones that have to make the play. They have to be the ones to force the issue. Seven seconds. Priest with a gunfight and a Kleenex. There's two members of Ultra left alive. If you oh my. just got to fly, is it the three to zero? Merry Christmas, Boston Breach fans. It has to be inside. Can he spoil it? Finds two, what's going on? What? One versus one. Inside now left. Up against Slasher. This is for the map. Or for Insight and Code that maybe stay into this one, but Slasher. <laughs> Gunfight. 3 0 Boston Breach to close out 2023 in the CDL. It's a huge, huge upset. One under the sun to drop all the players on Carolina after they do fall. Uh, right back off spawn, but still on top and bottom broken. Uh, this is certainly looking like a B-Zone capture as Lanes is consistently trying to build himself a mixtape in this series. Phenomenal in the s &D and looking great so far here in the control as well. 16 and 7 on 5 spree. I mean, he'd be overlapping the cruise missile, so no real point to earn another one, but you're not upset if you get it. Yeah. For the wins, it's not going for the win at the moment. Lindsay is just rolling through, getting kill after kill, and Gwyn falls at the same time. He's trying to single handedly do it. It's another pull, it's an eight streak for him now, continuing to move. Two guns in hand, player behind him gunned. Clayton's gonna fall. Gwyn is on a rampage, he goes for every single player. And my goodness, if that hasn't opened the door, nice nade by Envoy. He's able to find another one, so three in a row. It's pretty much a two on four on the hill for Ultra, and they are running away with this game. Yeah, you're talking about three kills in a row. Three kills in a row as Kleenex goes demon time. Ten and one. Moving out of the Gorilla's line. Thieves etching closer. Here we go. I mean, you can feel the pressure. Astral, he's worried for it. Couple players on LAG trying to make moves down the middle of the map. They're going to get caught, though. Fame trying to dance in. There's the trade for the... Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, disgusting! Fame out here making plays. I don't believe what we've just seen. Fame has somehow picked up all three. No ace. Dan Ghosty now. 1v2. Can he find the pressure? Ring around a Rosie. Can he get the kill? 1v1. It's not enough time to get the bomb down. Diamond Con is there. My God, what a round of search and destroy. And that's retribution for fame. And that all started, by the way, when Joe to see. All oh, up next. And chance, I don't believe my eyes, but it's nothing from the LA Thieves, it's two for LA Gorillas. Yeah, I mean, they're looking fantastic right now. And again, it was like a late deep moment round when it was fame earlier before that dropped the ball yesterday, made up for it here and just guns three oh, players oh, down. Oh, oh. The beauty of that bullet connecting and absolutely guns that final guy. You see no moment to react from anybody on Thieves. And this is perfect coordination from the Gorillas as well. <laughs> Estriel spots the first guy on the cross. It's Diamond Con that got tags in the 12 seconds before that hill is going to pop ultra gonna have a man at all oh. they gotta try to make the break that is not the start they're looking for inside on the wings looking for the extra kills the damage good but four players for phase are grouped up at new easy just crosses the way the alley and now the fight is on you have to get in there fast kleenex does cuts through the back can't get the second the hard point still in the hands of phase for now but nobody on the time and phase have the close bonds as well so ultra gonna have to fly they're gonna have to make those hero it's plays cqb here on the point phase are in scrap from the outside finds one the back line now the hit fire no good time now in phase's hands the break the break ultra hold and they're gonna get it to insight get a clean house the spawn is distant in ultra steel game number one 
trade fights. Only 10 seconds left. Can they come out on top? Optica currently in it. It has to be perfect from this point on. Atlanta spawning all over the map. 239, uh -oh. 239. Phase with a couple of the key eliminations. Here comes Stellion from the front. Can he? Oh! Minnesota just trading more efficient. Now Subline is going to find themselves down by about 20 points. You have to be forced to find a break in towards P1. Multiple trophies going to go down. That nade is not going to get any information. So what can Kismet do? Sliding right on in to try to get this first kill. First trophy denied, but there's still so many left. And it's Wake who meets him at the back oh, door. He's going to get three of the four. Oh, maybe even pop it out for all of it. But here come Rocker. 232, 198. New York flipped from playing over towards the left side of the map. They need to find the kills and they need to find them quick. They got to get in, man. They got to get in. They at least have one person in the point and it's going to be Kismet. He's staying alive as long as he can. He find those initial two kills, make it three. He cannot get the fourth though onto Lens. And Minnesota only 10 points away from being those map one Reapers again. Zip trying to get in through the side door. Kills looking decent. Vivid pops right back inside. Trying to pre forward the back door. 243 is where it stops. New York able to clean up the last couple of the kills. Rocker now need to make a decision. Do you want to play fully for rotation or do you try to want to get the last seven seconds? They're committing three players to trying to get it done right here, but the contest time, it may have been good enough. Just a couple of seconds between what's left of the hard point versus going towards New and New York are here first. And New York are here first and they also have one player in Skaz who spawns on a free pinch, so he's going to be able to find a couple of kills on the back end. Subliners is finding all the kills at the right time. Minnesota not spawning on the preferred side. When you talk about this P2, they need to get a break. The attacks need to be good. They need to be hitting. And you have to get past Hydra because he's holding it down with that AR. Explosions all over the construction side, but it's uh -oh. the subliners finding the kills. Hydra playing backside tank. Still one member on the hard point soaking up time for New York, who can 100% still try to win this here. But Minnesota start to find the kills. Hydra, last one left alive, has to stop Rocker from finding any entry, but he gets completely cut down, and it's Rocker. The map one dominance once again coming through to take the first. Locked right on in to start working on the first dick progress. And it's just right into B. Purge, unfortunately, with a team kill into Geo. That pro prey tank has a crazy radius. Wow. Blow up teammates, but that's already the first segment done. The second segment about to be complete, but at least attached. Finds that one kill to earn himself that cruise missile. He's not done yet. We're jumping right back on in. That's already three dead. And now they're starting to get aggressive on the map. LAG, this is a crucial moment. You have to win these next fights so you don't get trapped. Dude, attack oh! everywhere on the map. Oh my goodness. With the kills looking the way they do, it's a seven life gap, 55 seconds of the clock for LAG to make their move. Yeah, they gotta get out, man. You gotta get out. Just right now, the team fires, the crossfires from Vegas Legion are just too strong. Oh. That's three, make it all four dead in the feed. Attached city at 30 and 15. Double positive, 2.0 KD, one off of Earth that Cruise Missile has read this player beautifully, <laughs> takes down Estriel, now he has a Cruise Missile to work with. Yeah, get Ray's Awakening, has to get that bomb plant as well, Vivid, half health, but Insight just gonna reposition rather than fly at them, him and Envoy working together for this 2v3. So he's gonna see him again, Vivid, super weak, stay down, Envoy's gonna get one as well though, Vivid now into the smoke. Oh boy, firing bullets, but the smoke's gonna work against him. A two versus two with 29 seconds left. Inside, looking for Linz, but Linz wins the gunfight. Envoy at a one versus two. Time against him, position against him. Surely there isn't a win here. Uh, you just want the kills. I think if you get the kills, you'll take the win in that regard. That's number five in a row. Maybe he can win the round because it's Envoy. Of course he can. World champ for the 1v2. Squeezing water out of a rock. And that is Ultra up 4-0 in devastation after devastation in all of these rounds. The Ice Factor, the Battle of the North, Ultra reigns supreme. We are witnessing a breakdown of epic proportions. What is going on? Shouldn't have won. Scrap knows it as well. I mean, this is genuinely like the third round out of four that they have had. 3v2 around the A zone. Somebody has to touch this point. Here they go. 
Last run, last chance. Draza will find one as well. Eric Boom fires at Draza. Abizi finds Metal, but it's going to be a dive for the point. Point one second. Eric Boom unloads, but it's nothing but air. And they're just in this tick for another chance. They have the lives and a minute left on the board. Point one is all you need, Bryce. And now you just reset and go again. 10 to 9 on lives. Atlanta with that slight advantage for the time. Not on their side. Neither is the beatdown. Abizi there for the trades. And right now, two players from Atlanta sort of crawling around the middle of the map. Miami concerned about someone getting towards their spawn, but able to stabilize. Keep things under control. Still got plenty of the power positions under lock and key. And now Selium, last man standing and hunted down. That is all for in all of the pressure in the world. They have to play perfect, beyond perfect. They don't have the time. Draza will find Lucky, though. Flying in red. Not going to get it on the medals. More players coming through for the trades. Abizi has to make it. He's got it. Draza will find a second. And now they're flying towards the point. Four versus five. The time is ricocheting out for them. 4.1. They stop it. Lucky will find a two as well. Abizi will get that trade. A three versus two. It all comes down to this. First one. Abizi. The second he looks for as well as he fires. It's going to be a turn and burn. Sit for the 1v1. is ungodly 0.1 seconds for the initial cap on a in the final life in the final gunfight it's enough to prevent lynch from getting those early kills so that is a nail bite around ultra steal it away and i'll go back to working that a site there they go ultra they want to end this here they're going through with the bodies the door slam open found a waking up top though oh, hello yeah. hello all the way to the back, that's two already. Flying out the third will fall down from Awakening and Kleenex is left alone. And Kill Lynch will get his third. Unbelievable, there was a gap and it was exploited to the fullest. Dude, that was exploited instantaneously. Good trigger discipline as well, the route on point. I'm not kidding, even the round before, Linz is straight up making plays. He has been single-handedly winning so many rounds, but there you see the timing just straight in through the window. And slams him next to the wall right there for two. And of course, the follow up after the fact lens might just be a uh, top five play of the week. This is what broke it open last time. A couple of kills now starting to fall that way. And you've already got somebody advanced up. But Shotzi doesn't see the player to his left hand side. Should clean this one up on accuracy and does so. But he has less reinforcements than he would have. Awakening can find one, only four lives remaining now for Optic Texas. Make it three. Done. And this might be getting pretty and <laughs> pretty and dashy. You can find a couple of kills with 12 seconds to go. You've got to be perfect here from Optic Texas. They need to get across pretty much unscathed. Into the point we go. There's still potential here from Optic. I think I might hear a cruise missile in the sky. I think Awakening might have gone on this spree right now, but no control and no dice. Three players on the point. The out the extra kill, it's a 3v3. Gotta go, you gotta go if you're rocket, you're locking it down. If you're Optic Texas, make it one kill from Shotzi. Linz, can he find the clean up here? It's Dashi to find one more. Can they lock it in in time? It's a three versus 12 in the end from Optic. Round number five goes their way. Head in your hands moment for Rocker. Series on our hands now, Optic Texas. Come into this room. Yeah. The three to eleven comeback optics stay alive and control and somehow finish a reverse sweep over a Minnesota squad that is looking stronger every day. Well win. You gotta beat the teams that are lower in the standings if you wanna try to crack that top eight. It all comes down to one final round. It is Heretics back on the attack. And a little 2-2 split as well. So no aggression off the rip, playing it safe, playing for picks. Fades and Sons, trophies, everything for the moment, getting baited out. Waiting for the first blood, maybe to come through. Lucky in a dicey spot, but forced to back down. It's been the plane almost every time. Heretics moving right back. Is it passive or is it tentative? Are well, they a little bit nervous about this situation? They know themselves how big of a game this is. And it boils down to one round of search and destroy. Ghosty. Playing this one very, very safely. Will just pop up when he feels like the time is right. 
Push is coming through. Do they know that Ghost is here? Pops up in the right moment. Finds the shots on Terry with the second as well. The third doesn't come his way. Lucky is there to find the kill. 3v2 in favor of Thieves. Lucky and Vico still with a lot of work to do here. Vico finds a kill on the nasty over towards the B side. And Lucky now with the bomb is going to start heading over towards B. They've got eyes on to Afro. What's the play going to be? Vico in this position. It's just throwing a cat amongst the proverbial pigeons. Bomb's going down at A. Vico's going to get picked apart here, though. Afro will find it, but the bomb is down. Lucky now with an eight in his hand. A little bit of information. Krem towards the back. Has he spotted him? He hasn't yet, but the shot's going to come in from Lucky, and Krem guns him. LA Thieves find it in round 11. The defuse will come through. The reverse sweep will not happen. And LA Thieves will close this one out three to two. You get taken down, trying to get pushed up towards Laundry over, over Mannequin. And now Nero right back to it. He's on 25. Yeah, maybe slowed down for a moment, but starting to come back to life. And now he's mid map and he's going rub. Here's him stopping across. The free fire is there. Four in a row now for him. As he was kind of stuck on that 20 mark for a while, but. Even the best player, sometimes it's got to be in a position to fry. Once you get to that position, what do you do with it? And that's exactly what Nero is doing right now. He is ahead of the game. Oh he goodness. is zapping. Seven in a row, and it happens like a lightning bolt. A little bit more of an advanced spot. You'd imagine Rocker are just going to hold tight and wait to see what Linz can do here. I'm kind of surprised Pred never turned to look for him. And yeah, that ends up turning out into a Linz first blood. So they knew where he was, but they still let him through anyway. And now he just put himself in a cheeky spot. His team's going to be getting the bomb down. And now it's going to be a three, maybe 3v3 three three retake. Shotzi catches the planner, but still a very difficult bomb site to retake. Oh, it's awkward position there across the map for the entire remaining players. But Minnesota Rocker with the number advantage. Shotzi making a play. We'll find one in the favor. Can the rest of your team be here to help him? Dash, he's the only one left. Smoke out on the bomb. If Dashi can find this, it will be huge for the team. Linz gets away, but Shotzi, he's gone for the defuse. Awakening eyes on. Shots in. Not quite good enough. Shotzi then turns it. He got off the bomb. Oh right my God, Shotzi. Big plays, a big moment. Optic Texas one to the good. That can't happen. That can't happen. Shotzi is too good. And I don't know if that's con that someone on the team, I think, had to calm that. If Shotzi thought of that in the moment, that's insane. If I had to guess one of the players spectating there from Optic saw what was happening on Dashi's point of view and said, Shotzi, get off the bomb. Linz might be challenging you from top green. Yeah, shoot the propane. No one in the cockpit. It's only a matter of moments before they slide on them, but this time Minnesota have a team threat. Team fire set up. Yeah. Awakening is here to help Vivid, who's often been the sole defender over towards A. And the longer this takes, the more you have to wow. clean shots from Afro. Awakening does secure the trade. Kremp not able to follow up, getting tagged through the wall by, again, Accuracy, who seems to... I mean, this plane looks like it was out of an episode of Masters of the Air, dude. This thing's made out of paper mache. Shots landing all over the place. Ghosty finally able to take down Awakening that you think would open the door at A. But Linz is rotated over, oh. destroyed by Ghosty. Last one left is Accuracy. And he may find some timing here. Gets the first. Oh, snap to the second. There's not enough time for them to get the plant. But does Accuracy slip away at the right? Oh, oh it's a 1v3 for Accuracy. And Rocker bring us back to what they won. The Iceman gets it done. He knew that there was only 13 seconds. Ghostly just finished a gunfight, so he's still gonna be weak. Someone has to be committed towards the bomb plant, but the repositioning out of the ice, man. You need some ice in a game. Open, Envoy not an open route. Selium's gonna be watching that pressure, so we do have a different situation right now for the bomb plant. So Ultra players, it looks like they're gonna four-man group up together and work straight through mid, but that is not a good start. No, to the next goal with his pants down. Scrap's gonna get his stun off here, or at least a nade, so some shots are gonna start ringing on through. And if you're ultra, you really do need to get moving. Envoy has found a way through, but the smoke distorting everything. Well, maybe giving him some timing. Sally will be taken down. Trying to clear out every single base he possibly can, but Draws has found two in the middle of the map with the Renetti. He's gonna find the third as well. Draws are lighting up the kill feed. And letting the phase. Tying things up, sending us to around 11. Big plays from Draza. Yeah, I think that might have been an ace. That might be a, a top five play of the week if he managed to catch from his point of view. He just went electric there with the Renetti. 
And again, the battle of the new guys on the roster. Just shout out to the observers for catching this, by the way, because it is chaos in these moments to try to pick whose perspective we're going to watch. But it is draws of the round before man can see through smoke and hears him gunning down players left and right. I mean, that was the first blood he gets on Kleenex. The rest is with the Renetti. Shots on point, easy wins there. And again, nice little reload and drops the final guy as well. Killing everybody on the map. Draza making his presence known. Nominal from Draza. That was the turnaround, wasn't it? Oh, and he's letting them know. That's a great Pred accent right there. But yeah, I mean, as soon as you're going to listen, it's the end of P2 into P3. Last time at P3, it was an early break for Mopti. Same thing happens here. Carolina fought on back, but Shotzi flies through six in a row. An early rotation of P4 doesn't matter either for Carolina. Carolina have had chances to find some time, but they just have not found the kills in those moments. Shotzi, I don't know if I've ever watched a player that it's like every timing and like gunfights going his way or like it's the total opposite and like nothing's going his way. It's that one held the back away for now. <laughs> He's just been stunned up for 10 seconds. Now contested, 15 to go for Optic. Kenny don't want to be pinched. Kenny on the pinch might be able to shut this down. Well, numbers wise over to Carolina. Comes down to a 1v1. 10 seconds left. Got will take this scrap time, but I mean, we know how difficult it is really to hold P2 cleanly. Optic should be able to close out this series. We'll see. Or do you have some insane hold if you are Royal Ravens? Gwen with the opening gunny. Shotzi has been terrific. Looking for number 40 as he puts it up. 40 on the map for Shotzi. Kenny there as well, trying to clear him out of the point. Six points needed. Finessing his life, it'll finally drop. Fred though there with the help. Into the point, go Optic. This should end up sealing the deal. But this is uh, highlighting what you said. It's so scrappy, you just need a couple of seconds. You can't quite get it done yet. You stabilize. But pretty much, this pretty much sum summarizes this series. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's Carolina somehow staying alive. You hear the needs, the stun's going off. Now they gotta rotate though. 15 seconds left. Optic still throwing bodies at this. You have Kenny getting aggressive. Someone's right behind him. That's gonna be Fred. Dashy looking over him. Not there yet though. Is another double, but on rotation, you're gonna have number six in Shotzi finding a second. Clay's running! Clay's running! Can't yep. quite get there to maybe contest. I thought just for a second, an opening for some late game heroics, but it won't happen. Shotzi drops 40 plus. He had a series because his map one was nutty as well. They're taking routes. He doesn't have much team support right now, but every kill he gets is going to soften the blow. Or Shotzi might have the timing on the flank. No one's going to turn. Couple tags coming through. There's number one, and he's doing his job just by staying alive. Straight on the eyes towards the spawners as well. Oh, come on. Shotzi's playing real good tonight. Nice tags. There's the damage from the rest of the boys as the reinforcements arrive. The cavalry is certainly here. The Shotzi is still in Pinch City and somehow is evading danger. I don't have a clue as to how he has managed to survive this situation for so long. B is still in danger, but Shotzi has done everything humanly possible to save it. Well, that's on one side of that. On the other, Insight has just made his way to the A zone. He's got Kleenex as the cutoff man, so Shotzi's spree is fantastic. He's got a cruise that is great long term, but in the immediacy, Optic need to get these players off of A. Shotzi's still the cutoff man, but no one else on his team is repositioned. Shotzi versus the world. Can his teammates get inside off the point? Thank you. They did give away an extra tick in the meantime, but if you keep them off B, this is a beautiful, a gorgeous round right now from Optic. We're going to stay on board with Shotzi until this life comes to a close, I'm pretty sure, because my good God, what a round of control this young man is having. Cruz there, 15 seconds to go. He could call it in and possibly save that zone. It comes down to Pred. Can he win a gunfight against three? He gets oh, two! Wow, yeah. Pred gets two! He can't get the third, but here comes Shotzi, 10 in a row. Looking for the 11th! That's the round. You may never see one like it. Damn. Lupe Fiasco many years ago wrote a song about this man. Good God. I mean, it quite literally doesn't get better. There was a moment where his team maybe wanted to be a little bit quicker to reposition over to A, but Shotzi does such a good job. And as exciting as Optic Texas were there. Wonderful wonderful start to this invasion control my goodness we're still on board with shotzi because he hasn't died yet that's 12 now Francis Castro. 
the second cruise. He's got two of them. There we go. He's going straight to the spawn. The time he might not be working out from here. I take it all back. He's got another. Can he find the kill? No. It comes to an end. Luck spawned over towards this P5, but maybe they don't need the cruise to go down. Brezzy, he might be thinking about using the cruise, but he's just going to stay alive in the corner. And well, he's going to find two. They don't check it. He's going to find all three. Brezzy with some big plays. Yeah, he's had a map already. Now a huge individual moment late into this. If you're Boston Breach. Kitty Wimbo search and destroys. Pret has a lovely first blood off the barrel. Snoop gets his head popped right off a of seam. Brings it back. Eyes on one over the top. It will drop it. The trade is there again. And Shotzi that does it. And Shotzi, did he just get another? Yeah, no, he did. Was that Batman or was that Shotzi? Well, oh, Batman's his teammate. Yeah, Spider-Man's? He needs it. Yeah, no, that's that's a better call there. No, nope. bro. I mean, Andy hits the little hop there just to give him a little bit more movement. And that's gross. In real time, it's gonna look even smoother. Dude, those there we shots go. are clean. Are well, you a little bit? But over towards a Snoopy will get caught. There's that one on one. A scene brings it back though. He gets the kill on the Shotzi, so the first blood kind of wipes off the board. Slasher is trying to dance, trying to stay up, tries to wrap the edge. Not gonna happen. At the same time, a scene once again gets a kill. He's got two in this round. Every time you get numbers, if you're optic, a scene has brought it back. Deddy pop now. Yeah, with that little finesse. Look at the party. Yeah, so they catch Kenny, so. It was turned into a two on two, but Bomb is down now for a seam versus Pred and Dashy. And maybe they know Bomb's down. A seam working on the ace. That's three for him in this round. Pred was having a big one himself, but taken out of it. Dashy, a seam, 15 to go. Doesn't have Deddy on. He stop it, gets eyes. It was plant or hold for the kill. Dashy chooses to hold. Get a child, not gonna happen. It's an ace for biggest seam. What a brilliant moment for the newcomer on this Boston Breed squad. And that might be as simple as, all right, who is it? He's not gonna play it, right? Just knowing sort of tendencies, player tendencies, how they wanna play it. And Asim just holds the 50-50. I'll let this guy plant, but I'm just gotta go nuts. He has been terrific. No streaks gonna be coming his way though, as uh, I curse him there and he ends up dropping right after the gas. But with the final bit of time, Ooh. trying to get it is Surge, but attached says, no, no, no. That's why I'm top six basically across the board, five in a row for Dylan Price. Yeah, I mean, beautiful positioning that just hits the little drop shot, little Third heady, uh, and well, now he has the crew. So six in a row, up to 12 and seven. He is in form, but here comes Seattle Surge. You do have one player pushed up, and I like this from Abuza, but the timing to go the way of attach. So it's a little bit weird on both sides. You see he's kind of on the mini map. It's a two versus two. The attach gonna take down Hooch, and on the- He thought the race was gonna favor over to Seattle Surge, but it's just been a multi-kill or somebody going beast mode. It's, oh, it's Gio who kills the entire squad. He is lighted up. So we'll end any other way than a round 11 between either. two Titans. Here we go, Alan. Lock in, fans. Maybe sneak to the edge of your seat if there's any room left. New York going back over for the same B offense. Pred, first time he's played here. Similar aggression, trophy system down. Pred trying to hold the front door. Shotzi working on another flank opportunity. Does he get timing again? Oh, sure does, he finds Hydra. Pred went one for one, but the trades are decent. We're gonna go 2v2 early. It's 2v2, the ARs of Optic Texas versus Kismet and Skies. 55 seconds left. New York are just going to throw that decoy smoke out to force oh. Optic Texas to hit the rotation over towards B, but they have read this to perfection. Kenny's stun not hitting anything means that Dashy knows that he very well may be tested here at A. Does he catch the timing? Doors pop. There's the first. Skies tries the battle. Back. Not going to happen. Optic take the round 11. The reverse sweep complete. And rock the number one seed next to their name heading into Miami. So you have to now hit that rotation over towards A where it's only going to be Kismet. Now Skies is off the rotation here to assist them. 45 seconds remaining on the game clock. You're getting a couple sound cues of players working their way in towards red, but Shotzi again oh finds God, the timing dude. up to the ladder. 3v3. And he gets on to the second. <laughs> Kismet just gets completely caught. He thought he would have been safe, but didn't expect Shotzi just to YOLO off top AC like that. 
Bomb planted. 2v3 situation. Hydra's already consumed the dead silence and is likely to expire just as he starts to hit the wall. Shots his little pop-up, sees it, gets the kill. Now down to Sib, 1v3, not a lot of time remaining. Shotzi also off four. Sib takes the first pretty cleanly. Resets, 22 seconds. Sib now making his play forward, but Pred has seen him. Got to see that all from Shotzi's POV, but tough premise for Sib to pull away with that 1v3. And I just think if you are the subliners right there, you get the first blood over towards the B point, and then you have two players holding down that site. So at that point, you know, B is nowhere going to be there for Optic Texas to even try to contest it. You have to put yourself in better positions around that A bomb, A bomb to at least give up the bomb plant, but not initially drop in these situations. Shotzi just <laughs> does what Shotzi does. Finds the timing to climb up the ladder. The second to Nabizi, who hold on. To majority of that time for phase but a break in now a 30 point lead for optic trying to get us to a map five a great game here from kenny but look at the mini map 20 seconds left phase are playing for this p5 looks like you're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one, but that was draws who was able to win it so what was uh dashy last time right the one the one-on-one -on -one got him spawns this time more to deal with not able to do it draws going big four in a row now for a bz finding another a BZ now with the cruise into the backpack and you're roaring back in this one if you are phase next hard point ready to pop they still can't kill this man seven in a row eight my god it's too easy for a BZ as he is tearing them to shreds what in the world if he won that I'm out quite a bit perfect time for us to dive in for a listening with Optic Texas we <laughs> Like I spawn in doubles. I hear you. What do you do? What do you do? I got five rounds. Five rounds. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. Tunnel, tunnel, scrap. Tunnel, scrap. What if he's doing? What if he's doing? I'm shrieking. I'm shrieking. I'm shrieking. Go ahead, brother. Give this one tunnel. Okay, two spawn on tunnel and then two on new. Two spawn on tunnel. Get up, man. Get up, man. Get up, man. Get up, man. We can talk. Get up, man. 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 Get there it's pretty much a bullseye in itself why wow, you think a bird's gonna poop on me joe it might okay flurry of shots nice shots big kenny 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 from the clutch to the trip Woo! now he's on five in a row sim does have well no he's got to recollect the bomb over towards burger so some time to work with but how many times ha have phase members been in this spot just down a man having to clutch things out has not come easy for atlanta phase i've been doing such a good job early in these rounds step 1v2 40 on the clock now as he's clearing everything nade for info Let's spot one nice shots there. The wall bang hits another 1v1. It's three in a row now. 25 to go. Sip, Kenny. Can Kenny go big again? Damage on both sides. And Sip this time with the one on one. These guys are going to war. What the, what's going on? I was worried about ammo, but a nice little pop up Ooh. there. I don't know who makes that suitcase, but Ooh. it is a strong one. That after he got stunned, I'm sure, and everything sort of falls apart. Can he get it to around 11? Royal Ravens. TJ, Boy. very weak. His regeneration delayed even more because the stun hits him, but able to get back to full, get to his spot. Peekaboo. First blood, it's him. Well, this could come down to Gwyn, though, Ooh. in this spot. The rotation was there after the first blood, but it's just too many players. Now New York playing the bomb towards A. Fellow able to bring it back a bit. Sim trying to dodge these nades. He's getting hunted, though. This could quickly be a two-on-two, -two, and it is. 
Oh my god, he gets hit down to 25 with an 8. So yeah, they hunt him down. Fellow, what a moment from him. Brings it back to a 2 versus 2. TJ, though, has been spotted. He gets dropped. It's going to be Fellow for the ace to get this to around 11. Bit of information, a bit more. Fellow, 1v1 for the ace! <laughs> Felony, are you kidding? This man on oh. this map, on this bomb site, it is his. Finds the ace, and we're headed to around 11. <laughs> wow! Two versus four. Ace for Fellow. Show me it one more time. Just every single pick. You're able to get one near the bomb. They hunt down the player inside a DVD as Sib got hit by that nade, and then just the reads. There's nobody checking the site. Kismet gets a little bit. Yeah, that was a nutty one. Asim goes to pick. He finds nothing. Things falling apart. Finally, Subi involved. There's a pillar accuracy. He's finessing. Can't stick with the rival. Finally able to send it forward and get the kill. Down to 65 HP, but still up. Priest able to get a clutch one as well. Now 30 seconds to go. Down to a two versus two. Chance for another 2v4. He can't quite finish the kill. The strafe is on from Lindsay. Gets out of it. Snoopy now last alive. 20 to go. With the Priest to death, things probably got too difficult. Yeah, Lindsay's playing this well with the rival. Just trying Whoa. to buy time. 15 seconds, though. Now it's down to Snoopy versus Vivid. There's a slide oh, out of Snoopy! Oh, my God! And he gets the defuse! What a read! I think shit on his right! Woo! One second to spare. Yo! He snaps. What was that? Starts to defuse, but it's kind of a fake and just a slide out. Chow Brother. knows exactly where Vivid is. <laughs> the rival. It's Snoopy. Woo! I'm gonna go and get this down. Smoke coming out after the fact, and that's to get him out. So Carolina end up playing this perfectly. Bomb down for the 4v4. Gwyn not getting active yet, and he times it perfectly. Catches Nero for the first blood. Gwyn was the fail safe. Not enough to get any more out of it. Geo gets onto the board. 30 seconds to go, and that bomb goes boom. Carolina Royal Ravens take the lead. For now, it's towards the bomb site. Claystar, oh, brought down by Purge this time. TJ, position known. Has to make something happen here. Fellow from the AC side of the map. The pinch is on. Can Vegas Legion use the life count they've got to take the advantage? Tej in and out. Has to win another battle. 10 seconds to go. They're going to double back for the bomb. Oh, TJ might have done it. He's done it. The s and superstar strikes with a fantastic 1v3 situation. Yeah, I'm feeling like Teej too, maybe a little bit nervous towards the end, but he gets it done. His teammates didn't give him too much to work with, but I see in the end, in the hiding spot inside of Coop, reign supreme. I think Purge was expecting him to be playing in mid. Smoke in the right spot, so he lives. Yeah, but honestly, they don't aren't able to use it to use the bomb plan because the stuns hit. So as that sort starts to dissipate, now he's going to start the plan. Yeah, able to get the angle, though, with the help from his teammates. Actually what is this? Down. What is this? Hydra from what? Mars. What do we have here? With the wall bang through, what in the world is that from Hydra? I mean, we'll have to see if we catch where that's from, but you kind of saw the shots through the window all the way from the defensive spawn. He it, shot him through an apartment building. It's through, there's a, through a window. The ice cream. He's just doing it again. He's just doing it again. That's a BZ. I mean, this shuts down B. B is locked down. Draza trying to bring it back, but we'll see if Hydra can maybe get another one. Now 20 seconds to go. You thought you were in a good spot if you're phase. Now starts the plant. Works to get this down. Hydra, the difference maker in this round. You've got to here. You're trying to make sure he can't get away from the side if he's draws it, but he's able to do that from now. You have Daddy ready to pop if you are Hydra. Retake looming. Well, he's only got 11 bullets, right? So that's really it. He's going to throw the smoke out. He's going to be the one to start the retake. He just has nothing left, but he's got the Renetti. That's all he needs. 1v3 for sale. He's already got one. 1v3 in the backpack. There's not happening this time. Oh, that's the ace, baby. Ace for Hydra. A magician early in the round. I mean, this is just playmakers going up against each other. Three in the round previously from Sim. Hydra, now let's watch his replay. Uh, I mean, this is just, where is this from? Uh, I mean, so we don't have his point of view. 
but it is through a window. This is the extra work that it has made this team world champions at times. And there we there go. There we go. Right from that staircase. Shout out to the coaching staff. Yo. SD nerd. Who it's a little bit aggressive. And then the reposition for Skies behind the desk was great. But the headshots are better. Yeah, yeah. Four bullet to the dome. Round 11. Royal Ravens were in a 4-0 hole. And they battle back. You're a, you're a kill away from a streak, too. The only a chance maybe to get a cruise. Imagine that, the ace leads through a cruise and you ice up in 10-11, a shot for him to be the hero here for the Ravens. Usually a lot of utility though, did Carolina. The smoke went out, some stuns went out. So New York are going to know this. If they can work this B-bomb, it's gonna be tough to retake it for the Ravens without that. But yeah, fellow, if he gets the cruise, that might just be it. There is the cross, the smokes, the stuns, the trophies are down. Watch number five though, TJ trying to find an opening through the smoke, but not gonna happen. The trophy is there. To stop maybe a nade from finishing that kill, Kiz just barely staying up at Tractor. 35 to go, you're still trying, you can get that cruise, but you haven't been able to get another kill. Felly, so much damage in, but you stay up if you were Skies, you don't get caught. I mean, that's a comms, right? We have to get Fellow this heal, Gwyn's gonna go. There is the one. Fellow got it, Fellow got it. Are you gonna use it though? Yeah, Here we 20 go. seconds, Here 20 we seconds go. to connect with. Clay's gotta get forward, scrambling away, he gets the angle. Is he gonna get time? Go, He's gotta go, run. Go, go. I don't think there's enough He's time. He's not gonna get there. He's not fast enough. Nearly the hero, but just not enough time. And well, oh. Bob gets down. And NYSL clutch up in round 11. The multi kills were flowing. That's all four down. It starts with two from Sim. I mean, that is a great setup there by Opti to break that. Really, you have bus control, you have Pred in that position, but Simp able to sneak on through from Red Balcony. And he just throws a stun, has a couple of kills, and now push it forward. Ooh. Simp with five. In a trip. They have to try to get this streak. Nade over the top, beautiful nade, but nice job avoiding it and getting the kill. Cruise through for Sim. And now remember, last time on Jirachi, Tenny was really the guy, the standout player, especially in the slaying category. But starting off 0 in 6, had a great series versus New York. Can he turn this around? But right now, it is all Atlanta phase. Eight in a row for Sim. Make Dude. it nine. The tiny terrors going off. Yeah, nine in a row for Abizia that last matchup. Simp's like, I can do better, looking for double digits. And there it is, 10 in a row. In a grand final, he won't slow down. Up to 11. It's a godly effort. 12. Keeps going, another 13. The streak just won't stop. The flow state is in. Simp